Hey, it's your girl, Dr. Nina. And something that I've learned over the years is that hygiene from head to toe is not just about smelling good. It's about physical, mental, and social health. Click like if your hygiene habits and needs have changed with age and with time. I mean, I hope you're not still following that fifth grade checklist. My body has changed with time and it needs more attention in some places. Mm -hmm. And not all hygiene habits can be used every day. It's dang near impossible. And I read your comments. I want to make sure that you know that I break down my hygiene habits as well as my wellness routine by daily, weekly, and monthly needs. And that's exactly what I want to share with you today. I even added a free hygiene checklist down below in the description box where you can also find an item list as well as most of the items in my Amazon shop. So get on in that description box and make sure you join my free text community, which is going to keep you in the know when I have master classes and other wonderful things going on and resources like going live over on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Amazon, but also click like, look, it's free boo. And it keeps me in your algorithm and it keeps me giving you these great tips. Now let's get into this video. So I used to bring up skincare first y'all, but now I'm way more hypersensitive about my teeth and my mouth. So flossing is mad important. And I used to be super embarrassed back in the day when I would try to floss in between my teeth and my gums would bleed because my teeth are super close together. So what I learned is that water flossing works much better for me. Now I've had several, but my Panasonic personal care one works amazingly. The water speeds that are on there work really well for me. And let me tell you, the proof is in the pudding because I haven't had cavities since I've been using it faithfully. I love the different speeds and the power of the flosser as well as the little connectors. And all you do is open the reservoir, fill it with water. And I've even seen online where a lot of people put Listerine in there. And I started to do that too, to keep my mouth more refreshed. And because I love the thing, I use it all the time, like before I brush my teeth, mainly because toothbrushes can't reach everything. So they leave debris in your mouth, which means that it's actually kind of rotten in your mouth and your breath smell even worse. Stink. And speaking of toothbrushing, I do it religiously. I ain't trying to have no cavities over here. I'm too old for that. I brush once in the morning when I wake up and once at night before I go to bed. But if the mug's feeling real cruddy, then I try to brush in between each meal. These days, I'm avoiding a lot of sugary and acidic foods on purpose. And for years, I've rolled with electronic toothbrushes and I've really tried to stick with those because they work best for my mouth. And look back at my videos, facts, but I've really rolled with Sonicare the most. And here lately, I have really been using Arm & Hammer toothpaste. It's been working really well for polishing my teeth and keeping them white. And also it just helps with keeping my mouth clean. I guess it's the baking soda or something, but it just feels real good. A little hack that I have is taking the little toothpaste tablets and chewing them on the go, just swishing them around your mouth and spitting them out. Or if you have a small toothbrush with you that you can brush with, these things are perfect because you don't have to have full out toothpaste. You can just have the little tablet and go. Now, speaking of proper use, I've learned how to use a tongue scraper more properly after brushing my teeth. And no more of those baby ones that are plastic. No offense. But now I've moved up to the medical grade stainless steel one. And it might sound real cute and ritzy, but it's only $9.99 on Amazon. But on some toothbrushes, you can simply use the back of them because they naturally act as a tongue scraper. And when you do it, you notice that there's so much gunk and grime that happened to your tongue throughout the day. So it naturally helps with funky breath. For overall body odor, I've gotten super strategic. First, I drink all the water. Why? Because the other option is smelling like a garbage can. Not an option. In fact, let me drink some now. Hey, we good. And y'all know I really do believe in vitamins and supplements. And one thing that I've really been true to lately is liquid chlorophyll, about 15 drops a day to be exact. According to research, it may aid with things like detoxing the body, healthier skin, weight loss, and even neutralizing body odor. I love to simply add it to my water and it's good to go. And I also love Athletic Greens, which I've shown y'all before. It has like 75 vitamins and minerals, including probiotics, which we know can help with the overall balance of the hoo-ha by helping to support aiding in healthy bacteria. I also make it a point to take a daily vitamin and or a prenatal vitamin. And most of all, what I really eat factors into this. Eating for a better body odor includes eating things like yogurt, fish, tea, apples, green veggies, and high fiber foods. 
While I do love cooking all of this and many other foods, I do like to be able to make a lot of variations and fast. And that's why I love HelloFresh and I'm glad to say they're sponsoring today's video. They give me some options that fit in that less body odor category. And the holidays can be hectic, but HelloFresh keeps things simple. That's because they give those recipes and ingredients that cut out that grocery shopping. And it cuts out a lot of that meal prep time so you can spend more time with the friends and family who are important to you. The food overall is very good, it's easy to cook, fast to make, and sustainable. And they have more five-star reviews than any other kit. So you know you'll get something amazing. And y'all, the meals are no fuss and super simple and easy. And they offer a wide variety of quick and easy recipes. They include things like 20 minute meals, easy cleanup and low prep options. What I've loved is HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients. I've learned how to make so many things I didn't even know I could make. And then there's less cleanup and less food wasted as well because everything's pre-portioned. But sometimes I order even more so I can have more for lunch the next day. So go to HelloFresh.com forward slash Dr. Nina 14 and use code Dr. Nina 14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. Again, go to HelloFresh.com forward slash Dr. Nina 14 and use code Dr. Nina 14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. Just remember, ensuring your nutrition is balanced is best. This means balancing those proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and other things in order to make sure that your body is most in line and in order for the best outcomes. Now washing my face and skincare also come in high on the daily to do. I make it a point to wash my face first thing in the morning, even before I work out or go to the gym. That's to remove dust, sweat, and poor clogging junk. I rotate cleansers, but usually my process is close to the same, including cleansing daily and double washing each time, exfoliating weekly, steaming weekly, mask weekly, toning daily, serums daily, moisturizing daily, sun protection daily, and I try to get at least one facial a month. And what I have to remember is that skincare is not just about the face. When it comes to overall hygiene, some of the things I consider are making sure my ears are clean and I use Burt's Bees wipes, not Q-tips, mainly because I know that I can rupture my eardrum. You get the feeling too good, you take it down there. You don't want them kind of problems. I also use those wipes up my nose for those crusties because those Burt's Bees wipes are sensitive and they work so well. And also I use them for any extra gook in the eyes. And here's a tip for you. I wash my ears deeper after I shower. Why? Because the hot water allows the wax to melt and kind of ooze. Sounds gross, but it helps with getting things out easily. And extra grooming for me also has to happen monthly. So I trim those nose hairs. Not too short, but I definitely don't want them talking to people before I begin talking with my mouth. This includes facial hair trimming with my Hydro Silk little tool, that little purple tool I've shown y'all. The link is below y'all. Also face shaving with a little clean razor in key areas on my face. This has helped with the after five shadow and hyperpigmentation. Plus because my skin is so smooth, I also feel like it helps well with product absorption. Of course I love to take showers and sometimes baths, but it's the way that it's done. They must be done intentionally. And by that I mean it's great to take two showers a day, wonderful. But what are your body needs and what is your body chemistry saying? The main point is to wash away the sweat and the dust, but to maintain your cleanliness. While products and that T-zone of your body is important, like your bootang, your pootang, under your arms, your belly button, and your butt. I will never forget under the breast, feet, back, and legs. Look, that's why I use things like my back scrubber as well as my African sponge. And as far as washes and cleansers in the shower, I use many different things, but I really love my Dr. Bronner's Castile soap as well as my Nivea these days. I prefer water and or honey pot for the Pretty V below and my hands, of course. No towels. And weekly, I also make it a point to purposefully exfoliate my body, usually with one of my tree hut scrubs. This is just to make sure that my skin is polished and also nourished. Like I'm not trying to scrub away my body, but just making sure I get a nice polishing over it. I towel blot dry so that I don't remove all natural moisture. And then I go in with a nice rich body butter or like a eucerin lotion. And I usually follow this with an oil mix made from almond, olive, and jojoba oil among other things and personal grooming in this area also happens weekly and sometimes monthly 
shaving legs with attention to my under butt. I use my Hydro Silk or my Billy Razor. Also trimming pubic hairs so they're not out of hand. And monthly, I try to sugar wax the pits unless I sneak and shave them. This can help to reduce odor release as well. I'm also gonna share with you all soon a way that I've been trying out in order to get rid of body hair. We'll see how it works. Not only do I moisturize, but I like to make sure that I take deodorant, put it underneath my arms and rub it in. I find that this keeps me more confident throughout the day and it makes sure that somehow that deodorant saturates my full underarm and it hasn't caused me any problems. It's also important for me to wash my hair weekly. I watch for when it's dirty or full of products. And conditioner for me is a must for my hair. Deep conditioning must happen every other week at least. And I also use a t-shirt for blotting dry. While I use a lot of products, I do love It's a 10 as well as Function of Beauty right now. They just work for me every time. And also to cut down on daily odor between workouts with my hair because I sweat in my head, I take the blow dryer on a cool setting and kind of run it over the inner parts of my hair when I take it down and try to dry out some of that wetness so that it's not all clogged up and caught up and causing stench. This helps immensely. Now my poor little feet are in a league of their own. They get beat up weekly <laughs> running and working out and believe it or not that hard callous skin can carry odor. So for that reason I try to make sure that I soak my feet at home one part vinegar two parts warm water into either my home medics little foot tub or my Conair foot tub and I just let that sit and y'all my feet feel so soft and smooth just about 30 minutes if you can get it in every week or every other week. I also invest in a monthly pedicure. That's to make sure that deeply rooted calluses and dry skin are treated well. And with home care, I make sure that I'm washing my feet completely with soapy water in between the toes, okay? You're not just washing the top of your feet in between the toes. Not only that, taking a pumice stone to them or one of those little foot grates that I keep in my shower in order to make sure I'm treating that callous skin and giving it some love. Keeping them feet moisturized as well at night is always important as well. Wear socks with them and even saran wrap with socks over them. It helps like a hundredfold. And y'all hands also need love and you don't have to do a whole lot, but even just a basic manicure at home or just taking one of those nice little manicure brushes and soaping it up and cleansing under your nails from time to time to keep them from being dirty. Nothing worse than them dirty under nails. And several times a week for me, because I do dry out by the fingers, I try to add cuticle oil to them to make sure that they're really, really well taken care of. I love the one by OPI or by QCO. And I get my nails and hands done once a month so that they stay soft. So some common hygiene practices I wanna throw in there is making sure that you keep your home as clean as possible. A lot of times the stenches and the scents that come with us have come from our home. Wash that bedding and pillow covers weekly. Exercise to sweat toxins out of your pores. Don't share your personal care items like razors unless you wanna swap bacteria. Favor the clothes with natural fabrics like cotton. Allow shoes to dry completely after workouts and rotate your tennis shoes so you have more than one. That way you keep the bacteria out of them and if you need to make sure you spray them with something like even a little bit of tea tree oil helps to cut down on the scent and also the bacteria. Wash your clothes as much as you possibly can and change those underwear daily. And don't worry y'all, I haven't forgotten, I will be doing a fragrance video for y'all because I do enjoy making sure that I wear fragrances that complement my body chemistry all day, even at the gym. So I hope today's video has been beneficial for y'all. Look, it's not always easy to think about your own personal hygiene routine, but it's important to build one, even if it's very basic, as long as you're taking care of the very core of you in order for you to feel your best. Make sure that you comment, share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching y'all. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace. Check the links in the description for my free new Dr. Nina's Mentorship Facebook group, which is a group of like-minded individuals looking to progress, grow, and support one another along the way. The Now That's Life podcast is about to go into season two, so I suggest you go ahead and subscribe to the podcast on all your major podcasting platforms.
All descriptions and links for that and my free Supernatural video course are found below. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day Supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.